please welcome the frontrunner for the Republican nomination, former President Donald Trump. Overnight, former President Donald Trump, the Republican frontrunner, showing voters he hasn't changed. Mr. Trump again pushing lies and conspiracy theories about the 2020 election he lost, and going further in his support of people convicted of crimes related to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. I am inclined to pardon many of them. I can't say for every single one because a couple of them probably they got out of control. I would say it will be a large portion of them. You know, they did a very. <laughs> and it will be very early on. The former president also describing his supporters who attacked the Capitol on that day, which left five people dead, this way. They were there with love in their heart. That was an unbelievable and it was a beautiful day. He refused to give an answer on whether he'd back U.S. ally Ukraine. Can you say if you want Ukraine or Russia to win this war? I want everybody to stop dying. Russia invaded Ukraine over a year ago, and the U.S. has backed Ukraine throughout its resistance in one of the major conflicts Mr. Trump would face as president. On another, the economy, Mr. Trump downplaying the consequences of America defaulting on its debts. I say to the Republicans out there, if they don't give you massive cuts, you're going to have to do a default. But while he was president, Republicans voted to raise the debt ceiling three times, allowing the country to borrow more money to avoid default. Economists say defaulting could trigger a massive recession and lost jobs. Pressed on whether he would sign a federal abortion ban in the wake of the Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade, Mr. Trump refused to say. President Trump is going to make a determination what he thinks is great for the country. The audience seeming very supportive of Mr. Trump, cheering and laughing throughout the event, including when he continued to attack E. Jean Carroll, just one day after a New York jury found him liable for sexually abusing her in 1996 and for defaming her in his denials of the assault. And I swear to I have no idea who the hell, she's a Mr. whack President, job. You <laughs> President Biden's campaign responding to the town hall overnight with a tweet reading, It's simple, folks. Do you really want four more years of that? While urging people who don't to donate to his reelection. Savannah. All right, Garrett. Hey, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.